Hi and welcome to our lesson on an introduction to decimals. Here we have 100. If we divide by 10, we move the 1 one place to the right. We now have the number 10. Again, if we divide by 10, we move the 1 one place to the right. We now have the number 1. Next, we'll see what happens if we divide by 10 again. Here we draw a point. It separates the whole numbers on the left from the fractions on the right. We call these decimals. And so the point that we have just drawn is called a decimal point. Again, to divide by 10, we move the 1 one place to the right. Because there are no longer any digits to the left of the decimal point, we write a zero in the units column. The number is 0.1. The column that we have moved the 1 into is called the tenths column. This is because we divided 1 by 10. 1 tenth means 1 divided by 10. This square represents 1, or 1 whole. We divided 1 by 10. This is 1 tenth, or 0.1. The 1 in the tenths column means that we have 1 tenth. If we divide by 10 again, we move the 1 one place to the right, and we write a 0 in the space in the tenths column. The number is 0.01. This column is called the hundredths column. 1 over 100 means 1 divided by 100. We can see this again by looking at the square. It represents 1 or 1 whole. We originally divided it by 10 to move to the tenths column. We have now divided by 10 again to move to the hundredths column. This square is 1 hundredth. Dividing 1 by 10 twice is the same as dividing by 100. Because we have a 1 in the hundredths column, this means that we have 1 hundredth. Here's another example. This time we'll start with 200. To divide by 10, we move the 2 one place to the right, and we get 20. To divide by 10 again, we move the 2 one place to the right, and we get 2. If we want to divide 2 by 10, we must write in the decimal point. To divide by 10, we move the 2 one place to the right, and we place a 0 in the units column. We have 0.2. The 2 is in the tenths column. The 2 means that we have 2 tenths. 2 tenths means 2 divided by 10 which is what we did. We divided 2 by 10 to get 0 0.2. Here is our whole number. We divide it by 10 to give us tenths. The 0 0.2 means that we have 2 tenths. If we divide by 10 again, we move the 2 one place to the right, into the hundredths column. The number is 0 0.02. The 2 in the hundredths column means that we have 2 hundredths. This means 2 divided by 100. From our original whole number, we divided by 10 to get tenths, and divided by 10 again to get hundredths. Altogether, we have divided by 100. Two of these hundredths have been shaded in to represent two hundredths. The two in the hundredths column means that we have two hundredths. Thank you for watching.